असलम वेलकम बैक टू द डायनामिक इंजीनियर गुड इवनिंग ऑल ओके सो टुडे इज आई हैव रिटन इट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बिन डिडक्शन ओके वट आर द बिन डिडक्शन सो वेन एवर यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग द बार बिल्डिंग स्केजुअल वेन एवर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग द बार बिल्डिंग स्केजुअल देर वी डू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिडक्शन फ्राम द लेंथ ऑफ एनी बार ओके सो वट इज अ बिंड uh you would have seen that we do use bars and bends as well like if this is a bar here this part is a bend bar so instead of taking a whole length of this bar we take some deductions here which is known as the bend deduction okay now you would have seen that in our construction we use normally four types of bends i will i will just write it here the number first is the 45 degrees the 45 degrees bend okay its shape is somewhat like this in this angle this angle is normally taken as 45 degrees so this is a 45 degree bend now instead of taking the whole length like from here to here instead of taking this whole length we make some deduction from this length like if i do consider this whole length as l okay let let let's suppose this is l then i will have to make some deduction from this part because whenever you bend a bar its length actually increases so to 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 take the actual measurement of that bar you will have to cut up that increased part so that the actual measurement may be taken okay now this got important specifically in uh, beams construction or somewhere we do need accuracy you will have to take this very much serious okay so what is the length that we do subtract from the actual length is we will have to cut a length of 1d whenever you are making a bend of 45 degrees 1d means 1 multiply by diameter a bar okay like if i am using number 4 bar which is 1 by 2 inches 0.5 inches then i will have to subtract 0.5 1 multiply by 0.5 inches which is equal to 0.5 inches bent okay so the length of a bar will be l minus 0.5 inches whenever you are making a bent up 45 degrees okay so for 45 degrees length you will have to subtract 1d from the total length of the bar now the second one is that is most mostly used is a 90 degrees bend 90 degrees bend its shape is somewhat like this okay okay so here the length increase is 2d which means two times the diameter of the bar like if if the if this this total length this total length is l then you will have to subtract l minus 2 into d and if you we are using number 4 bars which got a length of 0.5 inches then l minus 2 into 0.5 inches which is equal to l minus 2 multiplied by 0.5 is equal to 1 inch so you will have to subtract 1 inch from the total length so that you may get the actual length of a bar that is 90 degrees bent okay the third one this is mostly used in columns and in beams that is the 135 degrees hook and it is somewhat like this okay now this angle is actually a 135 degrees sorry not this one this is a this angle this angle is actually 135 degrees okay now for this you will have to subtract 3d okay 3d means 3 multiply by diameter of the bar 
okay and the fourth and the last one which is very rarely used is a 180 degrees hook and 180 degrees hook mean if this is a bar and we make a hook completely in the same parallel direction then this angle is actually considered as 180 degrees hook okay 180 degrees hook mean a complete u-turn this is a normal word for you people so this is 180 degrees hook and for 180 degrees hook you will have to subtract a length of 4 into d like if you are using a number 4 bar that got 0 0.5 inches length uh, sorry diameter then you will have to uh, subtract 4 into 0 0.5 inches which is equal to 2 inches so the length up a bar that is at 180 degrees hook the actual length will be l minus 2 inches so uh, this this was uh, a little bit important topic for all those quantity estimators that basically work on bar bending schedules okay this will help you for uh, calculating the actual measurement this difference is in inches but this difference makes a lot of difference when when you are work uh, when you are working on a high rise building uh, where the inches matters a lot in beams construction so you will have to take the actual length and uh, that is how you can save some extra uh steel quantity uh if, if 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 that is going to be lost okay so i hope that you would have written this and this is important for you people uh please don't forget to share your comments regarding this and if you do have an experience please do share it thank you very much see you in another video allah Hafiz.